Okay, everybody, we're back. So in this example, we're going to figure out a vital, incredibly amazing question, which is that air and oxygen are both undergoing the same temperature change. Okay, and when they undergo the same temperature change, which of the gases has the largest change enthalpy? Now, how are you going to figure this out? Well, there's actually tables for it, so you can pick any two temperatures you want and go to the tables and look up what the value of H is for it. There's um, ideal gas properties of air and ideal gas properties of um, oxygen. You can also go and just say, well, I'm going to say the um, specific heat is constant, and you can go look up another table for that. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you now. So using the power of movie magic, we are now in the tables. Specifically, we're in table A2. Now, table A2 has the ideal gas, specific heats of various common gases. And I was asking about enthalpy, and enthalpy is Cp. So Cp for air is 1.005. For oxygen, it is 0.918, which means it takes more energy to increase the temperature of air than it does to take, increase the temperature of oxygen. OK, let's jump back there. So what was our answer? It was air. Now my second question for you is, which one to have the greatest internal energy change? It's also air. You could have seen that earlier because the CV, the specific heat at constant volume for air, was also higher than the CV, the specific heat at constant volume for oxygen. And that was table A2, just in case you're looking at it for, as well. Um, and they're all also tables that can give you, like, for particular temperatures, what the enthalpy or internal energy is for air or oxygen. Um, and you know what? Why not? I'll just go ahead and show you where those are as well. So, more movie magic. Here we are. So this is Appendix 1. I'm doing the um, SI units. If I go down, you'll see ideal gas properties of air and of oxygen and of all these other important materials. I'm just going to go to air first. When I go there, I see the enthalpy, the internal energy, and various other things we don't understand what they are yet. Um, for air. I can find that for all the materials I might care about. And so I can pick any two temperatures and I can find the enthalpy difference between those two temperatures or internal energy difference between those two temperatures. And I could do that for oxygen as well. Okay, that's it for this time. I just wanted to show you these tables and make sure you know where the information is. Thank you all for listening. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.